I said to them that um, out in the garden we were playing music, it was too loud, like I said. Yeah. Daddy. Daddy. I said feel free to come Daddy, as well. Daddy, Daddy. Hello. Hi guys. So we're basically trying to build a foundation on our on a part of our garden because it's really waterlogged. Heavy clay soil and the garden just needs a bit of love and we really want to pour that love into it. So one of the ways that we're going to do it is by Um Oh we're gonna so we're gonna move a bunch of twigs and sticks that we've got on the land. We're going to spread them out just to help to help the the drainage and and the foundation for something to stand on i have no idea if it will work or if it will if it will help say hi say hi bobs he wants to say hi hi bobs yeah you tell them what we're doing bobs yeah so we're going to spread those sticks out now and then we'll show you how it looks afterwards like i say to help the drainage and and to help the foundation so that when we're standing on it <laughs> so this is the area that we're going to be spreading the sticks on so so right you're going to see it through my wellies well let me see my, my foot's just stuck in there now oh ah jeez oh, i was falling over myself but yeah it's very clay heavy soil so in terms of actually growing anything on it is you know that, that, that we'd have to do our research but there's not really anything that we could that we could grow on it so um except for the brambles that we cleared but we cleared that for the space we don't want them here right now so so we're going to use a bunch of this uh these twigs and we've got some more at the back there that um that will that will spread across because because it gives a just a sturdier foundation uh, for us to stand and then we can build our raised beds and and put the poly tunnel on it a bit easier um everything's trial and error here so we'll see how we go we shall see how we go here we've already started our little compost heap so we just need to build around it so you just got some some old compost that we had in, the, in a few other beds here with some some ash from our from our wood uh, from our from our fire from our log burner um really good for for decomposing in the soil so um so you just add that to it and uh mix it up we've got loads of loads of scraps from the garden that needs to go in there as well but we'll build a um a pallet a compost bed around it <laughs> trench or a swale um, because where the garden is waterlogged we're just trying to figure out how to navigate the water and you can feel that naturally this is the wettest the soggiest way so we're just gonna do it that way usually you can measure this with an airframe and all that but you know we're just trying to think <laughs> so we'll see if it if it works and it feels like it works then we're gonna do do it bigger and better but we're just doing a trial trust the thing not to come up when, when you're filming mm -hmm. always <laughs> come on, put it back into it this is clear man this stuff is heavy oh we're not
dig in a trench. We found loads of plastic underneath the middle bit and that's the most waterlogged area so we think that's why. But we're gonna keep going. Mud is heavy Anna. Mud is heavy. Um, we've taken some nice falls. All good stuff. Um, young man is sleeping in this Disney movie. You know you can hear the birds there frolicking around and he's just there sleeping. It's beautiful. Um, we're gonna keep digging gonna keep spreading out the branches and we can't wait to show you what the garden looks like at the height of its blooming overflowing gorgeousness season <laughs> this is where we started um, the soil on the banks we're either going to um, put some sand and some compost into it and plant into it or we're going to remove it and um, mix it with sand and soil, figure something out. But uh, yeah, so where it's coming down naturally, it's so it slopes anyway, it's downhill. So we're uh, following the trench over here, it falls a lot more. So we're almost going to make a sort of pond, but more like a pass through. So big circle here and then narrow again so that it. Um, it can trickle into the yeah, into the river down into that ditch there. I mean, I keep calling it a river. I think it used to be a I mean, yeah, a stream. Yeah, there's actually water at the bottom there. Then you guys can't see it. There's water at the bottom there. Yeah, you see? Dredge it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's water all there. Yeah, because there's a little pond there. So you know what? We can make it properly natural. Where it flows, because I think all all the gardens doing at the moment, all the gardens doing at the moment, is is kind of stopping the flow of nature in a way with the way the water naturally passes through this piece of the land. So we're kind of opening up the lungs a little bit, um, so that it can come through and then pass through down here, and naturally where it would pull and then yeah, because kind of the pond. bottom there is a pond. Yeah. Which will be really nice. So basically just reinvigorating the life that is here. Um, yeah, the slug population in Wales is crazy. So if we can get a pond there and get some wildlife, get some frogs going, that will help us quite a lot with um, naturally dealing with, you know, with pest. Because, you know, slugs aren't our best friends. But you don't want to get rid of them because it's all a full ecosystem. The birds eat them and you keep wildlife in the system that way. So we'll see what happens. All right, go for it. T's attempting to go into the ditch, see how deep it is. Yep, go for it. Don't worry, I'll get everything on camera. It's all good. Yeah? You got it? stick to the bank a little bit more to the left yeah water's trickling down here though slowly yeah because mm. if it goes if we if we if we do what we're doing and we do it fast as in it, then the water will pass through the land faster so it won't it won't clog it yeah because it feels like all of this needs clearing back yeah Exciting, yeah, because you can really see the pond down there. I'm not gonna tempt fate and get stuck in the mud, you know. Uh, oh, go on, tempt fate. You've got to wear these on. This is a this plant has a berry on it. You know, what kind of eat it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, because the water starts popping from here. Yeah. See this. So, yeah, it's really about clearing here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. We got a plan. Okay. That gives us some more context. Thank you, baby. Bye. <laughs> Get back to the digging. <laughs>
for the day. We cleaned up. That was important. We didn't. We were way too tired to to just do a video, just at the end of um of the session. But we got a lot done. It's not finished yet, but everything's a work in progress. Um, so we'll show you in the next step. I just really wanted you to hear the birds and see this and enjoy the sunset with us. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, guys. Take care. I don't know how to look in the camera on this thing. It's there. It's there. So until next time.